Hello, I'm Julie. Welcome to the Crafted Closet. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on a modified burrito method for inserting long sleeves or short sleeves into a bodice with a lining so that the seam is completely enclosed. I am working on the Violet Field Threads Maisie pattern for my daughter. She is in a size 7. So this is my bodice so far. I've got one sleeve completely inset. And then I'm going to show you on the other sleeve how I'm going to do that. Let me show you on this sleeve. It's completely set in. Here's the bottom seam. And then the inside is completely enclosed. And here's that bottom seam of the sleeve again. I've done a French seam here. So it's, everything's completely enclosed in the lining. So that's what we're gonna work on today. All right, I have my bodice and my sleeve. I'm going to pin the sleeve into the bodice on the main bodice piece, making sure not to catch the lining. And after it's all pinned in, I will baste. The seam allowance on this pattern is a half an inch, so I'll baste it about 3 eighths of an inch. And this is also a gathered sleeve. It's more than just a the ease for a sleeve, so I'll make sure that all these gathers are nice and even when I'm pinning it in. Okay, I'm going to baste, and but I'm not going to start right at the edge. I'm gonna come in about an inch and a half, two inches, and start here, and leave this open. Also, I like to sew with the gathers up, because then I can play with them and manipulate them while I sew. That's up to you. Also, I don't typically sew over my pins. I'm just nervous. Make sure that everything's laying flat.
then when I get to this end, I'm going to stop. Short of the end. So leaving about an inch and a half at the end. The sleeve is now basted in and from the right side you can see the sleeve in the bodice. If you open it up, there's the sleeve, the front of the bodice, and then this is the lining. So we're gonna take the sleeve and this is the burrito part of the process. Roll the sleeve towards the main bodice fabric and get it tight so that there's room to sew. And then I'm going to line up the shoulder seam of the main bodice with the lining. And it'd be great if this was a different lining fabric, but that's what I'm working with. So I'm gonna line those up and pin them so that they match up. And then I will pin and make sure this is the sleeve, the front, or the main bodice, this is actually the back side of it. And then the lining, I'll pin and make sure those three corners match up. But when I sew the seam together, I'm not going to sew right here. I'm gonna start about an inch and a half, two inches in. And I'll come over to the other end and make sure that these corners all match up. And I will pin all the way along the rest of the seam, making sure that my sleeve roll is as far away from the seam that I'll be sewing as I can get it. And then as I sew that seam, I go very slowly to make sure that I'm not catching any of the sleeve. And now I'm just trying to pull part of that sleeve away from where I'm gonna be pinning so that it's not in my way when I sew so that it doesn't get caught. Okay, so this is all pinned, the front of the bodice, this is the lining, this is the front, and the sleeve is rolled up inside. So I'm gonna take it and sew, and again, I'm starting about two inches in, and I'll stop about two inches from the end of this.
Okay, it's all sewn together now. I'm going to trim and then we'll flip it right side out and we'll see the magic of the burrito. You're gonna pull, sorry, you're gonna pull the sleeve out towards the front bodice and all of this, all of the back bodice and the sleeve will come through the tube that's been created. And just gently pull, don't wanna break any stitches. Okay, so there's the outside of the bodice and inside. So the sleeve is completely inserted into the bodice and completely lined and that entire seam is hidden. Now I'm going to press all of this so that it's nice and flat. And then I'll come back and show how we're going to finish all of the seams on the underside of the arm and the sides of the bodice. I'm now going to sew the sleeve seam together. I'm going to do wrong sides together first with a quarter inch seam. I will then trim that to an eighth of an inch and flip it right sides together and sew with a quarter of an inch to give me my French seam on my sleeve. seam for the sleeve is done. Now I'm going to do the bodice and lining seams. So this is the front bodice. No, sorry, this is the lining. This is the front bodice and back bodice piece. I'm going to put those together and I'll sew that seam at half an inch. And then this is the front lining piece and the back lining piece. And I'm gonna sew these two right sides together.
normally don't pin these, but because of the camera, I'm sitting further away from the machine. So to make it easier on myself, I'm gonna pin it. back bodice and then in here is the sleeve seam. I'm going to go press the front bodice and back bodice seams open and I'll press the French seam on the sleeve towards the back of the garment. I now have the underside of the sleeve seamed. The outer bodice, the bodice lining side seams are all done. There's just this hole here where the three seams, where the three seams meet. So main bodice, sleeve, and lining. You want to make sure that you line up these three seams perfectly. and put a pin through all three, making sure that you're actually pinning them so they line up perfectly. And then it's just a matter of sewing the seam closed and turning everything right side out. So I'll do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to go over a little bit of the seams that I have from when I did the burrito method. Make sure that I cover some of those stitches just so everything's secure. And stitch all the way over to the other side and it'll be done. Make sure that my seams are going under the presser feet correctly. Pull that pin. Make sure everything's going under the Press your foot nice and smoothly, and then sew over some of the stitches from the other side. And do a little backtrack there. I should have done it on the other side as well. Now it's all sewn together. I will. Bring the seam allowance down. So this is where the bodice meets the underside of the arm and then the inside and I'll clean up those threads in a minute the inside of the bodice where the lining meets the seam of the underarm 
and the hole. Let's see if I can get more of the way. So, hole sleeve is inset, and there are everything's enclosed. Hope that helps. Thanks.